If you make YouTube money, they'll let you do anything you want. Just like um, Twitch. If you make <laughs> enough money, they let you do just about anything. Well, yeah. It's, 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 you know, if you're like PewDiePie, you could probably just do whatever you want. Or what was that other channel that was up there that he was competing with? It was like an Indian channel. No, no. Uh, no idea. Wow. That's how irrelevant he is to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't watch PewDiePie, but... I mean, really, the only really popular <laughs> YouTuber I watch is Markiplier. Yeah, I don't even really hey, watch too it's much Markiplier, Markiplier anymore. I don't yeah, really watch a whole lot of easy. big YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Watch a lot of medium size now. Do this without killing a single bandit. Bandit. Bambit? Yes, Bambit. Bambi? <laughs> Don't kill Bambi! Oh, kill Bambi every well, day of the year! we're not gonna kill Gant. Bambi, he's gonna kill his mother. <laughs> you know, kickstarting the events of the movie. Yeah. As much oh, as that... Wait, you know, a man wearing a chicken hat killed his mother. <laughs> and he went, bark, and then ran away. Kill at least 24 bandits. Would you rather we go by the Godzilla vs. Bambi cannon? What? <laughs> Is there ever a canon where Bambi fought Godzilla? Uh, it was like 30 seconds, yes. <laughs> Is this a YouTube video or something? Yes. I had a feeling that sounds like something people on YouTube would do. So we're gonna go on a murder quest here. Oh, are we doing something now? Are we yes. finally fighting the Hobbs? So I... Uh, it's gonna go find the sister. Oh, I thought we were fighting Hobbs! That'll be next. Wait, why am I walking there? Uh, I don't know. Why are you walking there? That's what people do. They uh, walk. You know what? I got... It's better for the economy. <laughs> yeah, not Actually, as, much, as much carbon emissions. This will be good for the quest, too, because it's three bandits. You just have to kill bandits? You don't yeah, have to kill, go to a place to uh, kill bandits? Yeah, kill 24 bandits for this quest as well. That's a lot of bandits. It's a ridiculously large axe. That's not an axe. What was it? This is uh, what uh, he had or what yeah, I had? he had. Yours is clearly not an axe. Wasn't he Apparently, already dead? Uh, you uh, double dead now. You know, you double tap. Triple dead. <laughs> yeah, you, you always gotta make sure. Triple tap the enemies. Make sure Die, zombie! <laughs> Well, now you're just masochistic. And, yeah, his body <laughs> decayed away because it was burned to a grizz by his fire sword. You know, just a poor peddler's gonna be wandering down the road and he's gonna see a, a guy with a chicken hat soaked in blood, you know, just repeatedly stabbing a bandit on the road. Yelling, die zombie. Die zombie! And then he rips off his clothes and he's just in his underwear. Oh, he still keeps a chicken hat on. It's supposed to be a mace that just looked like a fucking light pole <laughs> that he ripped out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, it could be. This is like some sort of fighting game where they just rip shit out of the ground and start using it as a weapon. You're like two feet away from him, why are you using your crossbow? Get some. <laughs> Look like at that guy waved high at you as you're Hi. killing someone. Like, hey, what's up? You killing that dude? That's cool. Is he just a bystander? Well, he's not gonna be for long. Yeah, you got evil yeah. points for that. Okay. No, this is, does he just forgive you? Like, you shot me, but that's okay. Like, hey, that. I mean, that, would you argue, really hurt, you know, but... the maniacal man, the chicken hat? Yes, I would. Well, your life would be forfeit soon after, I'm <laughs> sure. He's just gonna stand there? Yeah, because he's lazy. Really? Why did that one only give me 10 damage on that? Probably because you're wearing a chicken hat. <laughs> it all goes back to the chicken hat, I swear. It reduces intimidation. Boom! <laughs> oh, that guy was actually still alive. For once. See? That's why you gotta check. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Never know how many stabs they'll live through. Exactly. His stomach could be completely obliterated by getting gut stabbed, but he might still be alive. You never know. If you're that paranoid, just cut off the head and be done with it. It could be a vampire, Derek. <laughs> it can never be. They're too quite terrible. deadly this time of year. Can vampires survive having their head cut off? I'm pretty sure they can. 
Something can. I don't After know. After all, they're not getting maybe. staked through the heart. I don't fucking know. What do I look like? do that? I, what, do I look like a fucking Twilight nerd, huh? Well, I mean, we don't need to just follow the Twilight uh, rules. <laughs> God, what a nerd. That's the only thing that has vampires and werewolves, Derek. Uh, no. <laughs> They didn't invent and the terms. now that we got that fifth key, yeah, we can open up this chest. That's why all the vampires are sparkling. Oh, chest! chest! Elixir of life! Oh, yay. Don't give that to a vampire. <laughs> like playing Final Fantasy where you use healing magic on an undead enemy. Oh, totally. Instead of something like a potion of harming. Well, I mean, that does legitimately actually damage them. And there are other games that do that too, or am I just thinking of Really? That, that missed? Uh, I mean, there probably are, but uh, the one that just comes to mind me is Final Fantasy. Yeah, I think that's the one I'm thinking of too. I just never think of Final Fantasy because I've never played it. Never really? I've really had a desire to. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the only one I've completed is uh, Final Fantasy X. Then I tried Final Fantasy X too, and I hated it. <laughs> X2. It's just ridiculous that there's a 10-2. Yeah. That's probably one of the reasons why I never really had a desire to play Final Fantasy, because of shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's really, most Final Fantasies aren't connected unless there's, like, direct sequels. Why am like I auto-firing? What the heck? <laughs> Again, you're playing a game from, like, the 2000s. It's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna accept those blemishes and love them. <laughs> yeah, what do you think this is? Like Halo or Mass Effect that was pretty polished? I know, right? It's like it's something ridiculous or something. This was made by Peter Molyneux. He doesn't know what he's doing. I think you've brought that up every session. <laughs> because everybody needs to know about Peter Molyneux, Derek. He's the greatest game developer of our time. And here you complain about me whenever I recycle things I say. <laughs> is that bug even attacking him? He's just like, what was that thing? Overkill! He is part ghost facing through the geometry like that. That was my pet! <laughs> no, not my pet! My pet bug. Be like Trover saves the universe. Trover? Why not Trollger? Because it's cross between Trover. a troll and an ogre. Why? Is that a thing? Because it's Trolls never and ogre. Ogres cross it's free. never ogre when it comes to Shrek. But it is ogre. We already beat Shrek. <laughs> and I don't you think just really just want to talk about Shrek again, <laughs> didn't you? I swear it's yes. a problem. I don't think that there's a Shrek three game, and if there is, I don't think anybody really wants to play that. There, there well, might actually you be. You say that, but Gabe's probably eager jumping at. This. <laughs> I might look it up later. You can... Best be careful. I can just look it up now. <laughs> I know there's a fighting game in a Mario Party knockoff. I used to have the Shrek fighting game. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood was the most broken character in it. Why? Because range. Oh I my god, there is a Shrek the third video game. I can get it for $10 at GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a waste of ten dollars. Yeah, especially if you're giving it to GameStop. Did they make one for the fourth movie? Oh god, yes they did. Oh god. Of course. Jesus Christ. There's also one on the DS called Ogres and Drunkies. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks like a game about their kids. Why? I don't know. We're gonna find out though. Some things it's best to leave in the dark recesses of horror. Oh, look, money. Oh, it doesn't describe the game on that website. What the fuck? Yeah, and the Probably because no one played it. Yeah, in the Shrek fighting <laughs> game, you can totally play as Dronky, too. A dragon donkey. Yeah. Ooh, look, a fishing spot. We can do this now. I think you're. Do, 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 I think do. you're sitting in the fishing spot. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> That's not how you fish. Gotcha. Well, That's how you scare away fish. Ah, the legendary fishing IGN spot. IGN gave it a seven out of ten. What the fuck, IGN? 
What is your problem? The DS game? Yes. <laughs> About <laughs> fucking ogres and drunkies. Fucking IGN. And if I remember right, they famously gave uh, the Gen 3 Pokemon remakes a 7.8. You caught something! <laughs> this is the only description that it gives on Wikipedia. Players I a train, fish. play, and explore with characters fish. and environments from the Shrek series. What, do you raise the donkeys like Chow? <laughs> I don't know! Their Metacritic gave it a rating of 54%. That seems generous. Based on four reviews. <laughs> Those are probably yeah. the only four people that play. Granted, it. I haven't actually seen gameplay of this thing. It's not necessarily a terrible game. <laughs> you want to look up a YouTube video? Surely one has to exist. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck it even is. Nobody even says what it is. You might have to look it up on YouTube. <laughs> Says it's single player. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever played it, so nobody knows. <laughs> the guy who produced it is named Jeff Pomegranate. Jeff Pomegranate? <laughs> I think this is just a made up thing. I mean, his name's literally Jeff Pomegranate. <laughs> I mean, like, don't discount Pomegranate. <laughs> that's like if somebody asks you what your Mr. name is and you tried to give them a, a fucking fake name so you're like uh jeff and you just look around the room and see a pomegranate see a bowl of pomegranates <laughs> on the, the opposite side of the desk jeff uh 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 pomegranate oh i was in the middle of listening to that polster poltergeist song again <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of catchy it was very catchy that was a great song <laughs> The music sounds like it has something in its throat. <laughs> Cause he's a geist. Oh my god, those graphics. Oh my uh, what god. What graphics? Well, I mean, DS graphics aren't exactly great, so yeah, I can only DS, imagine. DS yeah. graphics are kind of garbage, but... I mean, there are some DS games that look nice, but uh, some. Well, uh, if it's meant like to be seen on a small screen too, not a yeah, bigger yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but in terms of like uh, a lot of the third party stuff, it's not great. Especially Shrek. Especially Transformers. Oh God! Ugh. Only imagine. Yeah, that You'll need that to definitely looks rough. Those bandits to reach their camp. Why don't you just if murder them? See you, they'll That's raise the... the alarm and lock the gate. Why don't you just break the gate? And if that happens, you Don't must you stay hidden for a short time before the gates reopen. That's what I do whenever they threaten me with alarms. Like, yo, you want to go? I'll kill all of you. <laughs> it's like in Far Cry whenever you trigger an alarm. It's like, I don't care. I'll take on an army. I can't imagine stealth goes very well in this game. Probably not. It's like stealth in GTA, I imagine. Intruders, shut the gate! Doesn't matter. I'll kill you anyway. <laughs> Well, I mean, oh the, the tutorial thing said all you need to do is just kind of oh, no. stay away for a little bit. Yeah. These graphics are just. God, Shrek looks like an even more of a monster. <laughs> Does he even resemble an ogre? Well, let's see, look at that. I see Toad. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that Wait, a green what? potato? <laughs> a green potato. A Greek potato? What? Green potato. <laughs> Not a Greek potato. I want to see actual gameplay of what the fuck this even is, though. But yeah, I assume that's just a cutscene. Yeah. This guy's doing a bunch of edits in it, so it's hard to see what is actually going on. Do, I think do, you literally do. play as a baby ogre. Wandering around. Kids! Get more men out there! Collecting oh. shit, maybe? Oh, okay, so I guess they did think of that. Damn. That's honestly surprising. What? Do, 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 do. I haven't been paying attention. I've been watching a yeah, stupid Yeah, I just killed baby. all three guards, and now they're sending more out. Well, I mean, that's what would probably happen in real life. And oh my yeah. lord, good lord, It's just lord, that given what I've seen slow. so far, I wouldn't have thought that they'd think of that. <laughs> that is fair. So that's why I was just a little surprised. 
No, it doesn't Granted, matter. it doesn't really matter because you're just going back to where they would have been patrolling normally, and that's past where you are closest to the gate. Yeah, like, stop. should I kill them again? Get up the What's bandit the... count? <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of bandits in there to kill. It's not like they're a low commodity. Yeah, it's a bandit camp, I would imagine. There would be a lot of them. I'd hope there are. You're supposed to kill 24 like, of them. There's probably like 10. <laughs> Granted, killed a bunch when we came, yeah, came up here. two already. Anyway. You heard what no, I'm there's disturbed. three. There's one a bit no. further back. What did the idiot Nobody do likes this him, thing? Though. He only lost his bloody cap in a raid. Are they blind? Yeah. They don't see the man with a fire sword and a chicken yeah. helmet? You can't get in unless yeah, you Yeah, you think they had noticed that within like the first if couple sentences me, of the conversation. Oh, like, oh boy, Jim, look! We have an intruder! Well, he's wearing that mask. Maybe that ruins his peripheral hey, vision. who's that? Oh, now they know. <laughs> <laughs> right after they conveniently finish the conversation. <laughs> Beating the shit out of you. Yeah, he's like the boss of the game. They're taking some hits. <laughs> you and you're not taking hits so well. Gabe, Gabe is fucking I would heal. You're getting shit on. I like how he wields that sword like a baseball bat. He doesn't really use it as a sword. He just kind of like waves. His dead body is T-posing. Well, <laughs> this is Fable. He's just like, I'm gonna run away. That's probably the smartest thing. To yeah, do. I mean, if somebody just broke into your base and killed like four of your friends, probably not a bad idea to just kind of get the fuck out of there. I'm sure your boss wouldn't like it very much, but you know. He's probably gonna die, so. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, heroes always go for the boss, so they're not gonna care if like a little guy gets away. Uh, not bad, man. Yeah, something like that. But Batman I don't think Gabe's Batman. Batman. Now, why would I Batman? <laughs> is he when dead? Did, when did why Batman is he not dead yet? Damn! Your when did critical. Batman become a, you know, a verb? Batman can be whatever you want. Because here. Batman, Batman is better than Batman. He's not a buffalo. I can't just make it Buffalo, every, buffalo, buffalo, buffalo? Every, you know, part of a sentence. Ooh, bandit boots. They just keep those in a chest. In Your health is critical. That's where I keep my boots. Whoa, he tried to fucking snipe you. You're gonna die. Nope. I'm pretty sure he has resurrection vials anyway. I have seven of them. Wait, are those horcruxes? What? Yes. What'd you call me? <laughs> and he did. Wow, he was a bitch. <laughs> And most of them have been putting up a fight. That guy just, you know, like, he weighed down and died. He, he had enough of that. Well, I also do have a spell that gives me two hits on every single hit I do as well. Yeah, but still. I mean, everybody else has been taking a few. What, are you gonna go to sleep? Yeah, just take yes. a nap in the middle of... You know, there's a guy back up there still. Holding the ground. <laughs> he didn't care about you. He's like, oh, he's just gonna go take a nap? Well, I guess I'll let him do that. <laughs> you don't want to interrupt people as they're sleeping. That's rude. Even bandits go by a code. Yeah, exactly. There is some honor among thieves. <laughs> I'm going to look like a bandit by the end of this. At this rate. Wearing a chicken hat? Yep. A chicken bandit? Oh man, he just baseball whacked you in the head. These people need real good training with swords. They don't know how to use them. Not like Gabe's really any better, he just swings it around like a maniac. <laughs> yeah, but at least he's using the cutting edge. <laughs> They're not even doing that. They're just whacking you with like the broad side of the sword. Fair. You know, I'd assume that with a big enough sword, you could just kind of wave it around everywhere and it might kill something. Yeah. Especially when it's on fire. I'm not entirely sure how the physics of that work, but you know, you got like napalm yeah. on the edge of the sword. Oh, yeah. Slow. You know it. <laughs> That'd be brutal. Fighting some night, you just light his armor on fire. 
not like he's gonna be able to be taken off. <laughs> he's cooking from the inside out. Quick. Mmm, basting. Be like that iron bowl torture. Yeah. Flame on! I wonder if that was ever a strategy in history. If they just, like, dumped flammable liquid on knights and then just burnt them. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to fight, like, a fully armored dude, but, I mean, what are they gonna do about that? It's not like they can move around real quick. <laughs> Ages of skill. Wow, experience. really? A skill potion gives you skill experience? I wouldn't have guessed. Turns out it's a useless skill, though. Yeah. It tells you how to use a shovel. <laughs> it teaches you how to floss pro properly. Like the dance or the actual flossing? Actual flossing, because I'm not a loser. <laughs> well, we could, uh, then we could hashtag this video flossing and see how many 10 year olds we could get to watch the video. 1,000 <laughs> skill experience. <laughs> and they'll be like, this is it, Fortnite! Like, oh my god. Who are these losers? <laughs> what is this fable game? I've never heard of a fable. I've only heard of Minecraft and Fortnite. <laughs> and Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't know what kids play. Roblox. That's what they do. Steal a mom's credit card by Robux. Or whatever that does. <laughs> I'd say that makes up the trinity of, uh, what... <laughs> Young kids play. Do they play Minecraft anymore? I think they're kind of over that now. Do you they play watch Pokemon it. Go oh, every yeah, but... day. <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know what's hip with kids these days. Should I look it up on? on the... I mean, even I don't really know. I'm. I mean, I just joke obviously about uh, Hero, what they do. Yeah, a couple of old people we don't understand things. Yeah. I'm gonna like, uh, Google what's hip these days. Yay! Both completed. <laughs> I'm sure that'll just. Blow the results. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> How do you do, fellow drug dealers? <laughs>